Hello everyone and welcome to Learn with Mrs. Knackley. Today I'm going to be reading another Andy Lee story to you. It's called Do Not Open This Book or Else. I wonder what Wiz gets up to in this book. Let's have a read, shall we? an original thing to do. Open a book you were told not to. Well, allow me to give you a round of applause. Congratulations. You've had your thrill. You can put the book down. How did you get to this page? We agreed you were putting the book down. Oh, I know what's happened. You got startled, knowing you were doing the wrong thing. So you dropped the book and it fell to the ground open on this page. No harm done. Just please don't turn again. What on earth? You turned again. I'm hurt, but not alarmed. Because look over there. That whole page is made of lead, one of the heaviest metals in the entire world, way too heavy for you to lift. So don't even bother trying to turn that page. One hundred percent really heavy lead. Okay, I lied about the lead. It was just paint. So don't go thinking you're strong or anything. But I'm definitely not lying when I tell you that the next page is really, really hot. Hotter than the sun. So don't touch it. You'll burn yourself. Definitely don't turn the page. You turned. You're too smart for me. Okay, okay, I'll level with you. You mustn't keep turning the page and here's why. After the last book, I did a deal with a goblin to transform me back to my regular age. But he had one condition, that no one read this book. If someone does, his spell kicks in. Have you not noticed, with every page you turn, I'm shrinking in size? Turn one more page and I'll prove it. That's my fridge. Look, I can barely reach the handle. If you keep turning the page, I won't be able to get myself any food and I'll perish. You must stop right now. Please don't turn the page. Ah, you turned again. Oh, wow. Look how big the chocolate is. This is actually wonderful. When mum says I'm only allowed two squares of chocolate, I usually complain, but this would last me a month. Woohoo! I like being this size, so please don't turn the page. Holy heck, you're not stopping. But the chocolate is even bigger now, so that's a plus. What about clothes, though? <gasps> All of my other clothes are way, now way too big, and I can't wear what I've got on forever. Please turn back. I can't bear the thought of wearing the same undies for the rest of my life. Phew, phew. Jeepers, I'm smaller again, which means I'm in these undies for eternity. They are going to stink to high heaven. Hang on, I know, I can borrow some clothes off my teddy. Yep, these fit nicely. 
So, can we agree that you leave me on this page with the huge chocolate and my lovely new clothes that fit? Oh my word, you've turned again. And now my new clothes are also too big. Thump, thump. What's that sound? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Thump, holy crumpets. I can see what's coming and I normally wouldn't be scared, but now I'm small, it's terrifying. Turn back, turn back. Just don't turn the page. Ah, an ant, a giant ant. It's a giant. This is how cavemen must have felt with all those prehistoric creatures coming at them. Easy girl, easy, settle down, quick, get me off this page. Oh, the ant was quite kind. It turns out she was just as scared of me as I was of her. She didn't mean any harm. I should remember that if I ever get big again. Look, this is not my preferred situation, but now I have an ant that can take me places and the smallest speck of food could feed me for a week. So I'm happy enough here. Please, don't turn the page. Okay, my tricks haven't worked. My pleas have been ignored and my giant ant ran away when she saw me half the size again. So you've left me no choice. Here comes a threat. You can turn the page if you like, but I'll be so small that you won't be able to see me. And mark my words, I'm going to jump onto you. I'm going to live on you. Perhaps crawl into your nose and tickle your nose hairs. So do not turn the page or else.